Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this session, we're going to solve question 12 from the KCSE Math Paper 1 2018. So we're told to solve the simultaneous equation uh, by using metrics. The first thing we want to do is write these two linear equations in terms of metrics or in a metrics form. So we have 5 here, so we're going to write 5. We have 3 here, it's positive, so we're going to write 3. And then we have 3 here, so 3 there. And then negative 4 here, so that's negative 4 here. So that is that. And then we need to put our unknown, so x and y, they come up here. So x and y here. And then that's going to be equal to this side, which is going to be 35 and negative 8. So what you can see here, if we multiply this out, you will get these two linear equations because 5 times x is 5x and then we need to plus 3 times y. So that's going to be 5x plus 3y equals to 35. And then for the other equation, we'll have 3 times x, so that's 3x, and then plus negative 4 times y, that's going to be negative 4y. So you will get 3x take away 4y equals to negative 8. So you will see uh, that you have exactly the same equations. So in order to have just x and y left here, we need to have identity metrics here. So what I'm going to say here is let A be equal to uh, this matrix here, so which is 5, 3, 3, negative 4. So what we want to do over here is have A inverse times matrix A, which is this one here, and then we have our unknown, and that's going to be equal to, we need to balance because we've multiplied this side by the inverse matrix. So that's going to be in A inverse on this side as well. And then we have 35 and negative 8. This is what we're trying to do. These two will give you the identity matrix. Now, if you remember, if you multiply identity matrix to any matrix, that matrix will stay the same which means what will happen on this side, we're just going to be left with this. So what we're going to do is just find the A inverse and then multiply by this matrix here. So to find A inverse, we need to find the determinant of A. So determinant of A is equal to what? So we know that to find the determinant, we need to take uh, multiply this, this diagonal across, so determinant of A, that's going to be 5 times negative 4, and then take away this multiplication of these two numbers on this diagonal, so 3 times 3. So our determinant of A is going to be equal to negative 20, take away 3 times 3 is 9, so that is going to be equal to negative 29. So going back to before, we're just going to have x and y here. And on this side, we're going to have the inverse matrix. So A inverse multiplied by this matrix here, 35, negative 8. Now we know that determinant of A is negative 29. So therefore, A inverse is going to be equal to negative 1 over 29. And then we take this matrix A, we swap the numbers on this diagonal, so we're going to have negative 4 and 5 over here, and then we change the sign of these numbers, so 3, negative 3, and negative 3. So this is the inverse of matrix A. So what we need to do now is just finish it off. So we've got x, y, and that's going to be equal to this matrix minus 1 over 29. And then we have negative 4, negative 3, negative 3, 5, and then we have our 35 
and negative 8. So if you multiply these out, then you will get xy equals to negative 1 over 29. I will say to you, leave this negative 129 outside at the moment. So let's multiply these out. We get negative 4 times 35, so that will give us negative 140, plus negative 3 times negative 8, that will become plus 24, so that is here 24, and then uh, over here we have negative 3 times 35, that is negative 105, and then plus uh, 5 times negative 8, that's going to be take away 40. So this will give you then negative 1 over 29, and then this will give you negative 116, so that's negative 140 plus 24, and then here you'll have negative 145. So xy is going to be equal to, if you uh, divide these numbers now, obviously there's negative here and negative here, everything will become positive. So what you have here is uh, 116 divided by 29, and then you have 145 divided by 29. The answer to this is going to be equal to 4 and 145 divided by 29 is 5. So therefore, x is going to be equal to 4 and y is going to be equal to 5. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe and leave me some comment. See you again. Bye.